I awaken on Monday to a sharp rap on the door. Uh, the only person who calls me Miss Patootie is Gravener. Isn't it? Or maybe Mrs. I mean, Professor Potsdam? I'm gonna go on a limb and say it's Professor Gravener. Miss Patootie, if you please. It is you! Yes! Got it! Stepping outside, I spot Professor Gravener and clutch protectively at my robes. I'm just out of bed and feeling vulnerable. I was not expecting to be facing him this early in the morning. Sir. G good morning, sir. Is there a problem? No. <sighs> and he, he sighed and handed uh, and hands me a folder bulging with papers. The label on it reads election protocol. You will it, excuse me. You will review these documents and meet me after class today to discuss your campaign strategy. Unless you prefer to forfeit now and save us both the trouble. Hey. No, sir. I'm doing this to spend time with you, you jerk. <laughs> Very well then. Good day to you. How much strategy is involved in this election anyway? I suppose I'll find out this afternoon. First, I have to decide on my schedule for this week. <laughs> and the music is happier now. What should I do this week? Uh, stress isn't super high. So... Uh, maybe I'll study and do red, green, black, and white again? Or something? <clears throat> yes, let's do it. Woohoo! Smarter! Oh, right, it's today. I arrive in the empty conference room and take a seat, spreading out the folder's worth of papers in front of me. The elections are held on Friday afternoon. Before then, I have to decide on a campaign slogan, do promotions, and write a speech to convince people to vote for me. That's not much time. I'm still not entirely sure what the class treasurer does. Usually that means organizing fundraisers, but I haven't heard about any of those here yet. Anyway, most fundraiser money comes from parents, but since this is a boarding school, our parents aren't here to get money from. Maybe that's the point. Maybe as the treasurer, I'm supposed to think of some creative ways to get around the problems with raising money for a tiny school that's kind of isolated. Oh, someone's coming. I wonder who that could be. Professor Gravener enters the room. Would it be too much to hope that you've already made your decisions? Uh... Just a minute. Oh, it's you. Sorry to burst in, sir. I promised my sister I'd serve as Cutie's campaign manager. Oh, gosh. You don't have to stay. I know how much you have to do. I can talk her through the steps and deliver the requisitions to you later. Is that what you want, Miss Patootie? Pfft, I don't want to work with... No, I don't want to work with the winky guy who every time he winks, something bad happens. I'd rather work with you, Professor. Oh, the music! <laughs> do 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 I just realized this is his theme music. <laughs> Which is just so perfect for him, I think. Anyway. Actually, sir, I would prefer to work with you. William's face, he's like, What? And why is that? Well, with all due respect, this isn't Virginia's campaign. Or William's, either. If I'm going to hold a class office, I should do it on my own merits. My own decisions. Interesting. However, a leader is wise to take advantage of the resources made available to her. I am hoping to benefit from your wisdom and experience, sir. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> I made him chuckle. Well, I suppose I'll be on my way then. He winks at me and makes his exit. This is why I don't work with you. Well then. As you should be aware, what I need from you at this point is a decision about the theme elements of your campaign. It is traditional for candidates to adopt a ludicrous nickname in the hopes of associating positive virtues with themselves in the voters' minds. This slogan and associated imagery will be used to design any marketing materials you requisition. 
The school will create and reproduce these items for you. Have you decided on such a name? Lady Lampshade Head, the Dragon, or a New Hope. <laughs> um. Well, he said ludicrous. Let's, let's go really crazy. Lady Lampshade Head. I think I should be known as Lady Lampshade Head. Lady Lampshade. Well, all campaign nicknames are ludicrous, right? And I can't see how they would actually make a difference. Nobody votes for someone just because he's called Stan the Man instead of Grand Stan. <laughs> Perhaps you overestimate the intelligence of the average student. Maybe. But I'd rather go with an obvious joke than tear myself up trying to pick the perfect name. I feel like we're bonding here, guys. And if everyone else is being serious, it will stand out. Interesting. I've got weird points. Well, <clears throat> the other issue you must decide now is what marketing materials you wish to order. While the school will acquire the items for you, you must bear the cost from your own pocket. Eck. Good thing I didn't go to the mall. They are a waste of resources, of course, but they are traditional. Tradition can be the deciding factor. Are you trying to tell me something there? Tradition. Holy cow, 90 bucks for cupcakes? How do you even get 90 bucks at this point? Um, well, I've got money for the posters and the badges. So I might as well do that. I order posters for five bucks and paper badges for five bucks. Now I've got nine bucks. Math and nothing else because I'm poor. Very well. The supplies will be delivered to your room in the morning. Good day, Miss Patootie. Gave me a smile. Yee -doo 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 -doo. Things are going so well. First thing in the morning, the campaign materials arrive. I have a stack of six posters, each one saying, Lady Lampshade Head for Treasurer. Vote for Cutie Patootie. We'll need to find some places around campus to tape these up. I have a collection of green paper lampshades, each with Cutie Patootie for Treasurer on them in gold ink, and straight pins for fastening them to robes. That looks awesome. I mean, that sounds awesome. We'll have to find somewhere high traffic to hand these out. Okay, are we ready? I suppose. Go Team Cutie! Ellen, Virginia, and I spend the next hour catching passerby, introducing me as a candidate, and giving them my badges to wear. I get one or two funny looks about the lampshades. Clearly, my campaign is original. This is a good way to get my name out there, but it's tiring and boring. Oh, I'm stressed. Whew, I learned even though I was stressed. I'm gonna have to sleep next week. When Virginia enters the room, she grabs my arm. Is it true? Is what true? You and Professor Grabner. What? Huh? William said you ditched him because you wanted alone time with the professor and you are practically flirting with him. Oh gosh, I'm even more obvious in the computer world than I am in the real life. That's not what happened. It's only what happened though. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating just a little bit. That's not the point. Cutie, have you got a crush on Gravity? None of your business. Of course not. I do. What you gonna do about it? I shrug. I don't know. Maybe a little. So what? Does it matter? But he's horrible. He's grumpy. He picked on you on your very first day of school. We didn't know each other yet. It's not like I'm in love with him or anything. But he's an older man, and he's intelligent, not bad looking. Ew, I'm getting weirder by the second. I should have been weirdy patootie this playthrough. Well, have it your way. <laughs> I love how that conversation went. Oh, nice music. On Wednesday morning, campaigning is in full swing music. 
All the candidates, not just in my year, but the upperclassmen too, have taken up positions on the main quad, calling out to everyone who passes and handing them colorful bits of paper. Oh wow, it's loud and crowded and confusing. Some of the older candidates are spraying magic, sparkle uh, magic sparkles over their heads to try and draw more attention to themselves, which just makes it worse. Angela for president! Kerrigan for secretary! Vote for Jacob! Vote for me! I'm doing my best to make myself heard, but even when I strain my throat, the crowd is mostly drowning me out. How can I get the crowd to notice me? Smile and look pretty. <laughs> That's not going to do anything. Offer to hug people. Jump up and down has never worked for me in real life. Perform interpretive dance or just carry on. Maybe if I hug people, I'll get cute points? Maybe Grabby will walk by and I can offer him a free hug. Yes, let's do this. Free hugs! Free hugs! What? I glomp onto him for a quick hug. Vote for me! Um, okay. Ew! Did I hear someone say free hugs? I detach from Luke and extend my arms to her, then freeze as I remember the wings and worry about hurting them. She doesn't seem to have any such fears, wrapping herself around me so that my cheek ends up against her shoulder and my chin practically resting on her bosom. Tentatively, I put my arms around her waist. It's just a hug. And then I feel her hips move. Oh my god. Um, vote for me? Perhaps. I <laughs> got ten cute points for her grinding her hips against me. Great. Anyway, and over her shoulder I can see others queuing up for the free hugs. The things we do for politics. Well, looks like it worked though. Yay! Woo! Three. Nice. Oh, I got a new. I got a spell in a different school of magic. Inspection. Cost one mana. Detects weak points and hidden details within one target object. Uh, I'm too stressed out now to learn. After activities on Friday, each class has a scheduled time to come to the gym, where the officer candidates will make their final speeches before elections. Since we can't vote in the senior election, there's no reason for us to have to listen to their speeches, or vice versa. The freshman slot is the last one in the day. I came in earlier to watch the end of the sophomore campaigns, hoping for some inspiration. I have a slightly better idea of what, thi what kinds of things to say, but they all have pros and cons. First up are the candidates for freshman class president. Minnie Cochran climbs onto the stage looking bright-eyed and enthusiastic, and says a bunch of stuff about offering a helping hand to other students. Everyone applauds. Then Suki Sato wanders up and starts talking about how she found a caterpillar once that turned into a lizard instead of a moth, or something like that. It's a little hard to follow. Oh, and apparently the spirits told her to run for president. Or some spirits? She's not sure which ones. Everyone applauds, but not as loudly. <laughs> Her speech was much more interesting than Minnie's. After that come the presentations for Treasurer. Jacob Blazing, the Blazing Fire, struts up and gives a very brief speech about how money is obviously in safe hands with him, and he knows how to spend it, too. Everyone claps and some guy even hoots in approval. Oh, gosh. No wonder Virginia doesn't like you. Then it's my turn. Hi, my name is Cutie Patootie, and I'm running for class treasurer. In managing money, I will... Increase accountability or reduce waste. Um... I'll reduce waste. I will reduce waste by eliminating unnecessary red tape and record keeping so that we can focus our funds on what's important. It will be my job to manage class fundraising events. I will... Wait, having a flashback moment. They are a waste of resources, of course, but they are traditional. Tradition can be the deciding factor. Grabby said tradition could be the deciding factor. So existing events would be keeping with tradition instead of making up new stuff. I hope this is what he was trying to subtly tell me. 
Yes, I will work hard to promote our traditional events so that they will be more successful than ever. The most important thing that I bring to the table as treasurer is... Well, my math skills are pretty... pretty off the charts. My excellent bookkeeping skills. Thank you for your attention, and please vote for Lady Lampshadehead. Everyone applauds. At last, it's time for the actual voting. I'm so nervous. What if I don't make it? I could have saved before this. Everyone lines up single file in the hallway leading to one of the classrooms. One at a time, we go inside to cast our votes. Each student is given a pencil and two pieces of paper containing the list of names for each office. You circle the name you want to vote for, then drop the paper in, into a box. For president, I will vote for... I'll vote for Suki. <laughs> she was interesting. For treasure, I will vote for myself, duh. I'm surprised they even allow you to do that. Right, that's that. Oh, uh, moment of truth. After all the votes are counted, we assemble again in the gym for the results. The position of freshman class treasurer will be held by... Cutie Patootie! Yeah! Ooh. Oh, I got a trophy. I won! And I'm proud to announce that this year's freshman class president will be... Minnie Cochran! Well, obviously. I'd like to thank you all for your hard work this week. You students are what make Iris Academy truly great. The teachers will be seeking out the newly elected officers later today to discuss their positions. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend! Oh. So, you were successful. Yes, sir. Very well. Take these keys. He hands me a small loop of chain, about the size of a bracelet, with three bronze keys hanging from it. And report here at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning to begin your duties. Five in the morning? Five? You were aware of what your duties would involve, weren't you? Oh, gosh. Uh, after all, you were given all the information ahead of time. <sighs> right. Maybe I should have spent less time campaigning and more time reading the information booklet. Pa. Early morning. When I push the blankets aside, the room is dark and cold. Ellen and Virginia are still asleep. I should be too. Why did I think this was a good idea? It'll be worth it, girl. It'll be worth it. Maybe we'll have tea. The door was locked, but Professor Grabner gave me a key. I also have the key for the metal box I see sitting on the table next to the stack of envelopes. The professor isn't here. Why should he be? This is boring, pointless work, and now it's my job. Class treasurer. Class filing agent, more like. Aw, I thought we were gonna have the breakfast together. It's kinda sad. One envelope for each student to be labeled with his or her name. Five dollars for each student to be extracted from the cash box and placed in the relevant envelope. Any mistakes and they'll know exactly who to blame. Then I have to go through the creative mail and line up every anything received with the student it's supposed to go to. And then I have to go around to every freshman dorm room and deliver the mail and the allowances. And I have to do this every single Saturday for the rest of the year. Yay. As I'm making my rounds, I reach Butterfly Hall and stop in surprise. There's a huge bouquet pushed up against one of the doors. That's Minnie's room. Of course, it's Pastel's room too. I wonder which one of them is for. Probably Pastel. Everybody thinks she's cute. She must have boys all over the place. I've never gotten flowers like that. I only get mysterious pranks. Oh well, on with the work. At last, it's done and I'm free for the day. What should I do today? I feel like if I study, I'm gonna fail, but I don't wanna go to the mall. Oh, fine, I'll go to the mall. Maybe I'll just do some window shopping or something. What should I do at the mall today? Yeah, let's go window shopping. I wander in and out of various stores. It's not a very big mall, but there are books, clothes, music, and toys, so I keep myself entertained for a few hours. Oh, that actually did work. 
Stress decreased by three. Oh, not done yet. It's Sunday, and the sports club is having a meeting. Or rather, a game. Virginia's got the ball and is dribbling it across the floor towards Ellen at the goal. Keo cuts in to try and steal, but Virginia sidesteps. A twist, a lunge, a swift kick, and the ball flies through the air. Oh. I've never actually done his voice. Um. What are you guys doing? Nobody pays any attention to him until after Ellen has successfully blocked the goal. This is a sports club meeting. What are you doing here? Maybe I want to play. I'm a fit guy, right? Fine, whatever. Alright. He closes his eyes briefly and a wave of green magic sweeps over him. Hey, you can't do that! Do what? No magic allowed. What are you talking about? We're wizards! This is real sports, not bounders! Oh, God. Kyo. He's got the coffee eyes. Um. What's going on? This one says you guys are refusing to use magic. What's the point of that? This one? Oh, she looks so angry. Well, that's how we've been doing it in sports club. That's just wrong. It's unnatural. You're letting your talents go to waste. Come on, it'll be fun. You want to show off your skills, don't you? Who's for flying basketball? No, there is no magic allowed in sports club. Maybe we should take a vote on it. You're with me, right, Q? Yeah. Traitor. Cutie. No, no magic allowed. I don't think it's a good idea. We're only freshmen, but we've got players from all four years, and we all know completely different spells. This is a good point. I couldn't play flying basketball. I can't fly. There, see? Without magic, it's just kitty games. Why should we have to hold back from the best we can do? Yeah, we, we should be real. Real losers? Virginia! Um, because it's the rules. People without magic still have to hold back. You don't pick up the ball in soccer. You don't beat up the other team to stop them from reaching the goal. You do your best within the rules. That's good sportsmanship. <laughs> Maybe we could have a special game sometime with spells allowed, but only certain spells, so it's fair. Eh, I guess. Ellen looks at Jacob. Do you still want to play? <laughs> Call me when you play a real game. He leaves. Why are boys so rude? William isn't. Okay, boys except William. <laughs> Come on, let's get back to the game. <laughs> Whew, that was quite the week, guys. Let's check out our diaries. Campaign planning. I met with Professor Grabner to decide on a theme for my election campaign and order supplies. Badges and handshakes. Ellen, Virginia, and I spent the morning distributing campaign materials and promoting me to potential voters. Prime Virginia. Virginia has gotten the idea that I might have a crush on Professor Grabner. Dot dot dot. Campaign madness. The election is at a fever pitch today, with everyone trying to win by outshouting everyone else. What a mess. Election results. The elections were held today. Minnie Cochran is class president, and I am now treasurer. Delivery duty. As class treasurer, it's my job to deliver the mail and the allowances to all the freshmen on Saturday mornings. And Jacob intrudes. Jacob burst into the sports club meeting t today to try and tell us we should be playing games using magic instead of just normal sports. Virginia was not happy. No, she was definitely... Definitely the opposite of happy.